So in this tutorial we would learn about how to set up AWS Client VPN using mutual authentication. In mutual authentication you need to have client certificate and server certificate for the authentication. So let's get started. In the first step we would generate client and server certificate using ER easy RSA. Uh, we have AWS public document over here. I will mention it in the description. So you can easily follow the steps mentioned over here and generate client and server certificate. So let me first launch one EC2 Linux instance on which I will generate easy RSA certificates and then I will install it on the ACM and post that we will use it in the AWS client VPN endpoint setup. Okay, here I'm in EC2 console launch instances server easy RSA you can use any Linux box but for this tutorial I'm using Amazon Linux please make sure to choose a VPC which is having public connectivity and enable auto assign public IP for testing purpose I usually add any or allow all traffic but the best practice is to use or allow only specific port or IP addresses okay so I'm all set oh seems like I forgot to create the keys I will create a new key RN create pure quit launch EC2 instance. Great, I'm gonna SSH this EC2 instance. I will click on connect SSH. Before that, I will give it the permissions. I will open the terminal. CH mode 400 SSH okay I uh, successfully logged into the EC2 instance and now I should follow the steps okay so I need to copy this command paste it over here it's saying command not found kit is not installed okay no problem sudo su yum install kit yes okay it's solid now we can run this command it's working now for this command we will create easy RSA Folder. Okay, it's done. Initializing PK environment. It's done. Creating CA without password. I'm not giving it any name, so I'll just simply enter. That is done. Now this is server. Um, okay its common name is server because its server over here you can give it any name as you want like abc.com or anything so currently its server I am fine with it um, entering yes it created server certificate now I will create client certificate its using name client one domain tld you can use any name over here uh, like abc.com client or anything you can use any name over here and enter it would again ask for the confirmation yes it's done now I will uh, move all the required certificate and keys in a custom folder so I will simply copy it it would create a custom folder and put CA cert server cert and client cert and keys in this custom folder 
Okay, that's done. Right now I'm in custom folder. If I do ls minus la, so I can see my certificates and keys over here. Now that's done. Let's import it on the ACM. So I will go to AWS Certificate Manager, list certificates, and then import certificate body. So here we should add the server certificate server.crt you can cat it copy this content and here we need to add key minus minus la server dot key cat server dot key and oops copy this key over here Okay, this field is optional, but I usually put ca.crt over here. So let's do that. Cat ca.crt. Great. So for this particular tutorial, I'm not importing the client certificate because I'm going to use the same .ovpn file to distribute to my clients so if you don't want to create multiple multiple client certificate for each user you can simply import only server certificate in the ACM so I believe it is imported now yeah it is issued great now we will go to site to sorry the client VPN setup. This is the VPC console, client VPN endpoints, and create client VPN endpoint test. Description is not required. 10.0.0 slash 22. You can use any range, and the slash should be from 12 to 22. Uh, 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 over here I will select the server ARN and I'm using mutual authentication I will use the same certificate ARN over here connection login not required that's not required okay that should be my VPC I will confirm what's the side range of my VPC So I am using AWS provided DNS server over here. So if it my VPC side range is 172.31, then my DNS server should be 172.31.0.2. Oops. And as a secondary, I would use the public DNS server. UDP because it's faster split tunnel yes for more information you can always refer to AWS public document uh, but as an overview if I enable it my internet internet traffic wouldn't go via AWS client VPN but it would follow the ISP local ISP and whatever traffic I would mention in the route table only that traffic would go via VPN endpoints so that is it I would select the VPC security group uh -uh, so I would use that in this security group make sure that under the outbound rule you have allowed everything so let me also cross verify this security group VPC security group this is the VPC console and over here you can see the security groups I filter it, outbound rules everything is allowed, great inbound rule doesn't matter but outbound everything should be allowed so this is all set, 443, great so this is created, now I need to associate the target I can associate any subnet from the same VPC 
and it would allow the connectivity to all the subnets it doesn't matter if you're selecting this subnet or any other subnet this is done route table it would create it automatically and authorization I need to add authorization rule like which subnet or side ranges are allowed to connect or which side ranges my client users would access at AWS so I should add whole VPC CIDR range but you can add as per your requirement 172.31 okay dot zero dot zero slash 16 okay add authorization rule all set now I need to wait for this state to get active meanwhile I will prepare my OVPN file so I will download the client configuration from here in this client configuration dot OVPN file I need to put client uh, credentials well this is not required in this case had you been used client certificates as well under the ARN field then then it would have mandatory but now I'm just adding client certificate keys and certificate as a best practice so cert, oops, cert. cert and key Okay, this is my Linux machine. Seems like it is stopped. No problem. Let me connect into it. Okay, let me verify the directory. It's in the MK. Okay. CD. Plus minus LA and client cert get I'm putting the parameters over here and the client key get client key okay it seems good I have CA then client certificate then client key great I'm saving it save as okay so let me verify the client VPN status it's still under pending associate 
still associating so for this tutorial I'm using AWS provided client VPN software you can use open VPN software as well going files manage profiles add profile test YouTube profile done okay it's available now let's test this it's connected great so now I can access anything present in this VPC I can ping my EC2 instance from my machine its private IP is 172.31.42.2 inbound first of all let me allow ICMP Okay, now let me try pinging it. So, this is my Mac machine. Ping. Okay, I can ping my EC2 instance on a private IP address, which means I'm successfully connected to client VPN and can access my internal AWS resources. That is it. Thank you so much.